Shotgun Venture is brought to you by Black Hills Ammunition, Gundelio, and Smith & Wesson. All right, Adam, where are we now? Uh, this is our one of our force-on-force -force houses for doing scenario-based training and we're just working tactics. Okay, so you can do all sorts of shooting with uh, simunitions. Yeah, like simunitions, UTM, whatever type of force-on-force -force projectile, and uh, ju just working on your movements or tactics. We can use role players or drive movements like we're doing now. Okay, so we're just gonna work with dry gun. You got dry gun, I got a blue gun. Long guns going through a door because now you got something longer that bangs into things. Yeah, there's a little bit more you need you need to work on with, with a long gun versus a pistol, some things you need to know. Uh, in some cases, it makes it easier, so we'll kind of work on that. Okay, let's go do it. All right. All right, Tom, so as uh, just generally speaking, looking at this house we're coming up on, obviously we've got a door that we're gonna have to negotiate in some way. Right. Some things I need to think about is where's the doorknob is on that side or this side, obviously it's right there. I'm gonna wanna set up on that doorknob side so I can negotiate that doorknob and see what's going on. And I want my rifle in a position where I could use it if need be. So down here, uh, I, I can't really use it. So I'm gonna ha I'm gonna wanna basically tuck, tuck the rifle up here. It's very much like what you're doing with a handgun. The same exact thing, just, right. a, just a longer gun. And the goal is to simply clear as much as I can outside here so at this point I got a decent layout I can see you know it looks like maybe there's a kitchen up here a closet there some stairways up there some dead space up there behind that wall I can't see behind so that kind of sets me up for thinking okay if I'm gonna go in here where do I want to go for safety or why am I even going in here well, in the first I was place? Say, you look at it and go yeah. that's a lot of ugly options in there maybe yeah, we don't want to go in sure there sure is and I uh, work in this house this is a complicated house and honestly I gotta tell you if it's just a bump in the night and I don't have any kids I have to go rescue, I'm not going. No, no, call, call the authorities, get yourself to a position of safety, secure your firearm, secure your phone, get your loved one to safety and hunker down, maybe safe room, close the lock the door and call for safety. This, no, the, this is the kind of thing you guys do as teams, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. All, all my buddies with guns and badges, we'll, we'll, we'll take that on. There you yeah. go. Next, it was time for a refresher on an important skill. All right, I'm here with Dylan and we're gonna do a transition drill, so Dylan, why do you do a transition drill in the first place? Well, in short terms, when this doesn't work, you gotta use this. <laughs> okay, you gotta use the rifle first because that's the preferred weapon. Correct. More power, more ammo. Correct. But if it goes down, I mean, now you, you obviously teach about function drills, but that takes time. For sure, yep. So rather than monkey around with this and clear it, just get it out of the way and get a gun that you know works. Absolutely. Well, I'll tell you what, what I wanna do is watch you do it first and then you can coach me through it slow motion. How's that? Okay, sounds All right, good. Let's do that. All right. All right, so the drill I'm about to run is what we call the one, two, three drill. Basic rundown is I'm gonna shoot one round with the rifle, transition to the pistol for two rounds, and then fix the rifle for three rounds. Pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna run through this real quick, load the rifle up. Make sure my pistol's loaded. It's a single action 226, so I gotta make sure I activate that safety. And I'm gonna run through the drill. Okay, from high or low ready really doesn't matter. We're gonna present the rifle, sights, safety comes off. Fire the shot, attempt to fire again, nothing happens. Finger straight, safety back on. At this point, this hand departs to go to the pistol as the rifle starts lowering down. As soon as my hand gets on the pistol, I'm letting go of the rifle to shoot the pistol. Get a couple rounds out of that. Safety comes back on, I bring the rifle back up before I stow the pistol. Identify the problem, in this case it's a reload. Reload the rifle, fire three. We got set up here. Dylan's gonna coach me through. I'm gonna try this transition drill. So Dylan, just talk me through slowly because I've got a remedial on this thing, okay? Absolutely. All right, so we got you got me fixed up with the blackout here, huh? Absolutely, it's an MCX blackout. Sweet. 100% everything you're holding the SIG, so it makes it faster right off the bat. Not faster, 100%. yeah. If only I were the fast, right? <laughs> okay, so. So you're gonna present the rifle, one shot. Okay, one shot. Rifle safety drive. back on. Take it back on. Coming down here. Correct. Got the pistol coming in. 
Okay. Finger straight, work that back safely into the holster. Okay. Now we're coming back up with this. Mag out, new mag in. Okay. Pull forward. Back in. And then safety off this time. Safety back on. Good. That's it. That's it. Now, if you run that really fast, I'll look almost like Dylan. Actually, I don't think we could do that. <laughs> that was fun, man. Coming up, we head for the water for the freshest lobster possible. <laughs> 